Well, he was in the Harris County Jail and he had a medical emergency. Then he died in the hospital. This will happen on Tuesday, but the Harris County Sheriff's Office did not want to mention the death publicly, and they're not counting it as their jail death statistics. KPRC2 investigator Deliza Mom wanted to know what is going on live now downtown tonight with those answers. Joel? Danny, a couple different dynamics at work. Please try to follow me. You had a guy who was in jail, had a medical emergency. He's rushed to the hospital. Unfortunately, he dies in the hospital. In between those two points of being in jail and the hospital, he is released. I saw the judge's order. So technically, that is not an in-custody death. With that being said, Harris County Sheriff's Office, when I was inquiring about this today, not at all forthcoming about it. Lawrence, could Here you he is standing up in court. This is just four days before his death. We don't know what killed 49 year old Lawrence Gutierrez, but the emergency started at the Harris County Jail. From what I remember, we beat out Rikers uh, for the jail deaths that we have in Harris County. We have seven deaths already this year, and it doesn't look good for them. We wanted to know more about Gutierrez's death and why HCSO won't be counting his death as a quote, jail death. We got a curt message from them when we first inquired, quote, Hi, Joel, thanks for reaching out. We have not had an in-custody death 6-6. It seems like they're just doing it again to basically willfully cover up how many deaths are happening in the jail. It appears by state standards, HCSO is correct, not an in-custody death, but also not very forthcoming. Brandon Hansen works with Jailhouse Justice. They're a watchdog group of sorts, and it would appear by the non-transparent treatment of this death, it's a good thing they're watching. The basic things that you need to do as a jail is keep the people in there safe and alive, and we seem to not be able to do that. Harris County Sheriff's Office, for their part, says, hey, look, if you look at through this point last year versus this year, it's about half as many deaths, 11 versus 6, by their count at least. We're live downtown. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, 2 News.